Perpetual Soccer Hospital is a hospital owned and managed by the Sisters of St. Paul of Chartres. With a 250-bed capacity, the hospital aims to advocate its commitment to environmental stewardship. Let me serve our advocacy as a, uh, for a green environment hospital. We're mainly here as their caregivers, thus we would want to provide them a good environment that is conducive to heating. So one of that would be um, putting up putting plants around the hospital premises, thus the presence of uh, numerous gardens uh, in every, almost every nook and cranny of the hospital has a garden and some hanging plants. The management is committed to providing a place conducive to their patients' immediate healing. Therefore, they allocated great patches of empty spaces to growing and maintaining gardens. It also has a therapeutic effect on not only just the people who walk by, but to the environment. Just like any other hospital, Perpetual Soccer has to deal with its own challenges. One of their more pressing issues comes from the Environmental and Sanitation Department. We have a problem with the, our disposal of our placenta. Marami mga anak, marami placenta. So, and we dispose it to a, a, a supplier na they will pick up our placenta and they will charge us at 30, 40 pesos per kilo. Then, out of curiosity, Sister Mirna asked scientists to help her turn these placenta into biogas. Let's make a, a, a miniature biogas experiment. Lang experiment. After three days, if we will produce gas, we can make a biodigester out of that uh, uh, placenta. After three days, the life namin will end. Puna produce all methane. Oh, we can make this. Biodigester is like a compost pit for biodegradables like placenta and vegetable scraps. This one is the biogas. This one. And then, if you have a placenta. After undergoing some scientific process, biomass will produce methane gas. This in turn will be utilized for gas stoves in cooking hospital food. Oh, oh, there, I can see it. Yeah. And then from there, we can get methane gas, and it's good, it would aid to dry up in the laundry area, as well as in cooking of our diets for all our patients. Aside from disposal of biomass, concerns for steeper energy prices drove them to look for alternatives and cheaper sources of energy. Hence, they installed not only solar water heaters on top of their buildings, but also solar-assisted air conditioning unit compressors in many rooms. With environment protection taking precedence in their priorities, most of the greening practices are aimed to conservation and preservation of the environment. The following is the list of their greening practices. Vermicomposting to reduce waste and produce plant fertilizer. Rooftop vegetable gardening where the harvested greens are used as food for their patients. They have a total of 25 garden plots. Laundry water reservoir with reverse osmosis excess water. In our dialysis area, dialysis department, we draw 70% of water, only 30% used by the patient, for the dialysis patient. When I was there looking at the water, no, 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 we put it in our cistern. So I, I, I discovered also our cistern. I was new in the hospital. I discovered a cistern that was too big. So I divert the water going to the cistern and then we use it for our laundry. Installation of water cisterns for purposes of firefighting and watering the garden. 
Vertical gardening for absorption of carbon emission in garden areas. Aiming to advocate greening shifts into their daily hospital functions, they train their health caregivers to promote a clean, green, and harm-free environment. While on the client's and patient side, they uploaded programs on environmental stewardship in the electronic billboards and PSH website. Yeah, PSH embark on this greening practice to again provide a better healing uh, environment for our caregivers and our patients as well. And we'd like to encourage business enterprises to really look into the aspects of your business where you can um, do conservation or even the littlest things that you can do one of the future plans of the hospital management is to apply for the international recognition for their envi and energy sustainability efforts. To apply for uh, international recognition for environment and for energy sustainability. Mm -hmm. To to I, I, uh, international standards for, for environment. To address other businesses, they humbly encourage them to shift to greening practices for conservation and to commit to living in a place where everyone can breathe fresh air.